I'm very proud to be the first official female co-host of the TV yes. show in seven years. Yes. So to, to honor that, I would like to attempt to spend the show today talking about women and atheism a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm mostly just babbling off at the mouth today because, you know, this is my expertise because <laughs> I am a woman atheist. I was raised an atheist. I, there's a, there's a common perception. Thank you. There's a common perception that there are fewer atheist women than atheist men. I mean, you can see it yes. in a lot of places. You can, if you come to our group, yes. there are very few active women. Yeah. There are very few single active the women. So if you're a single active woman and you're looking for an atheist guide, you won't have a problem finding one here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Although surprisingly enough, most of the women in the group are fairly active. Yes. As in, you know, it's not just like we have a lot of women showing up who, who just come and, you know, that's kind of the end of it. Um, they're typically going to be fairly active and, you know, they're, they're into the group. They do a lot mm -hmm. of stuff with it, mm -hmm. so... So. We are. Um, maybe you have to be activists to join this group. I don't know. But, perhaps. perhaps. Well, it's, a good, it's just a good social outlet. Yeah. But so <clears throat> I have a study here from the Gallup polls from 2002. Um, it was a study of 1,000 American adults. 69% uh, of women said that religious... Uh, the religion was a very important part of their lives compared to 53% of men, and 48% of women attend worship, uh, attended worship in the last week compared to only 37% of men. Wow, 48% of women. That's, Apparently, that's, that's so, a lot higher than I would have expected. So, I mean, according to these statistics here, it looks like, you know, religion is much more a woman's thing than yeah. non-religion, and therefore there would be fewer atheist women. Um, yeah. I was having this discussion last night over coffee that um, one of the possible reasons for that, and, and this, is a, this is a hot issue, but I'm allowed to say it because I'm a woman. <laughs> one of the possible reasons for I that is because, <laughs> is because men tend to be more thinkers and okay. women tend to be more feelers. Okay. And yes. therefore women find it easier to identify with re religion, whereas men might find it easier to rationalize religion out. Break away. Um, and and I, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to say that, that it's, I don't, I don't know if it's biological or cultural, but I'd be willing to guess that that's still mostly cultural, right. that so, women are more, you know, are more okay. emotionally driven and men are more okay. rationally driven. Yeah, yeah. Um, plus the social aspect <laughs> of it, of just, not so much of the religion itself, but just of getting up, going to church every week, meeting with, you know, a Bible study group, whatever. Just that mm -hmm. social aspect of it maybe something that, that draws more women to, to it than men. Right. So, and so, you men know. Men are happy with beer and football, so. Some of you may have seen me on the show before. I haven't been very active lately, but when I first moved to Austin about a year and a half yeah. ago, I went on the show several times. I talked about... Um, being a Jewish atheist, being a gerontological social worker, and and how that might relate to atheist issues, and uh, being a vegetarian and how that might relate to atheist issues. So I was like, okay, what's my other expertise that I haven't talked about? I'd like to talk about being a woman atheist. Yeah. And I started getting a lot of feedback about what people wanted to hear. People wanted to hear about the issue of raging, raising children, which I do not have any children, so I tried to invite some guests onto the show with me that have children and raise children within atheism, but um, that'll have to hold off for another week. Uh, one thing that I did uh, look into just for my own curiosity, and this is a very slanted, excuse me while I go off camera for a moment, but this is a very slanted statistic. Um, just out of curiosity, you know, Match.com is like the big yeah. dating website that there is. And so out of curiosity, I went on and I just looked up some numbers of how many um, men versus women atheists you can find online. Yeah. And You did an actual search for atheist. I did an actual search okay. for atheist, like okay. how many people identify themselves with atheist. I was going to go further and do atheist or agnostic, or people who identify themselves as spiritual but not yeah. religious, but this was mostly just atheist. Okay. And <clears throat> women, uh, looking for men, oh, I think I wrote this down wrong, but it was, it was. I mean, men who are looking for women who identify themselves as atheists, um, between the ages of 18 and 65, there were about 500 of them, and between the ages of 
21 to 35, so I did like the okay. all the people that would sign on to Match.com. I mean, not all of them. But I don't know how many, how long the range range is. But um, 18 to 65 was about 500, as compared to women, which was about 241. So it was about, mm, half, about half the half. number. Um, it, um, 21 to 35 was about 344 for men, and 93 for women. Okay. Significantly lower. It would be kind of interesting to see how many men and women they have on the site total to get a more percentage. Yeah. Because typically on these sites they're going to have a lot more men right. than women. Yeah, and that's that's so. how this this little statistic that I came up with is, is I mean, it's not a statistic, but these numbers are very slanted because in general I know for a yeah. fact that a lot more men sign on to Match.com than yeah. women. Yeah. yeah, I actually did a little bit looking on the Match.com. The spiritual but religious um, is a very, very, very open category. Very, very um, open. It seems like that would be something where it's it's everything from people who could be atheist, but you know don't want to put the a word of atheist or agnostic on there, um, all the way to the people who are studying you know psychic powers and believe in you know the tantric you know yoga techniques and just you know all these other kind of strange. I would be willing to guess Aurelian, that the maybe. men who identify themselves as spiritual but not religious. Yeah. Don't like the frequently, inflammatory. Frequently, probably don't want to call themselves an atheist because they think they'll scare scare women away. Exactly, exactly. The scary A word. Okay. Okay. So, um, so yeah, that that that's definitely part of it because yeah, when you're trying to you know attract the date, the last thing you want to do is say, hey, hey, I'm an atheist. <laughs> May not attract quite as many people as you would hope. So. Uh,